feeling weird about husband's response to, what made you fall in love, question. I am having a hard time trying to understand why I'm bothered by this. So maybe I'm overreacting or overthinking it but let me start with context. Today my husband, 30M, and I, 30F, were having a conversation with my family and we were talking about how my husband was popular growing up and has always gotten a lot of attention from women etc. My stepmom then chimes in and asks, so what made my name special? Why'd you pick her? Note this sounds like a weird, blunt question but you kind of have to know her to know this is how she operates and she wasn't being mean or rude whatsoever, just inquisitive, and then my husband said, she's special because she stuck around. I tried to push her away like I do to most people but she stayed. I know he didn't mean to say anything hurtful and maybe again this is just me overthinking but for some reason that answer just keeps replaying in my head. I want to be loved for who I am, not what I have to offer someone else but maybe that's part of who I am. We've been together for almost 10 years and he has said stuff like this before like, the thing he loves most. About me is how well I love him, and I do love him. So incredibly much. But those statements for some reason just make me feel a little sad. I'm not sure why I'm shouting this into an anonymous sea of strangers but I suppose I'm just looking for some thoughts outside of my own head. It sounds very close to him saying that you made him believe in love. You should ask him but you need to be in a confident mindset first. Something similar happened to me. When my so started showing interest in me, I actively tried to push away. For months. He flat out told me I know what you're doing. I'm not going anywhere. You're worth it. That pissed me off to high heaven. Like how absolute dare this bastard do what no one else did. Why couldn't he just leave? I clearly do not want to be bothered. WTAF? And now I can't imagine my life without him. I'm actually very scared to lose him, because he stuck around when no one else did. It takes an extraordinary person to see past my bullshit, see the broken mess that is me and decide they still want to be with me. That will never happen to me again. He's a keeper. Your so wasn't insulting you. You did what nobody else would. You saw someone worth staying with. When everyone else just saw his superficial qualities, you saw him. You loved him. You loved him enough to stay. He's telling you you're incredibly special. Take the compliment. It would probably feel better to have him say because she's so fun to be with or because she's so smart or because she's so nice or something like that, but I think what he's saying actually is something positive about you. It probably means that you're more tolerant of certain things or are more committed to your relationship or are better able to understand whatever he does to push people away and not let it affect you. So I think that is part of who you are. It also doesn't mean that there aren't plenty of other things he likes about you. I think it might be more that he's aware of things that he does that often drive women away and is very happy that you're unique and that you're capable of dealing with whatever those are. As long as he treats you well and you're happy being with him, I wouldn't worry about the way he described that. Maybe it would seem more positive to you if he said because she's so patient or because she's so tolerant or something like that, but I think the way he said it is more that he's pointing out that he knows he has flaws than it is that he doesn't. Appreciate the good things about you. He's recognizing great qualities about you in that statement. Strength, resilience, loyalty. My partner is that way too. But that's a very honest statement. Because people often forget or don't consider what the other person is rather they remember how the other person makes them feel. He may have loved you or been attracted to you for who you were but he stays because what you bring into the relationship. Same goes for him too right. Even if you fall in love with the kindest man and he helps everyone out, hence, has no room for you in his life will you stay? Obviously not. This person gave you the things you were looking for and you fulfilled him. You suffered through his bullshit and he suffered through yours. That's how you clicked. Tell him how this makes you feel. Many of my boyfriend's compliments were once like this, and I wanted to know what about me inherently did he like. I told him I was more than what I gave him and it flipped a switch in his head. Of course for him, he was trying to tell me how much value I had, I just wanted to hear it in different words. Now when we compliment each other, we compliment both who we are and what we do for each other. That way, both of our love languages are accommodated for. Communication is key my friend. Sometimes you're not gonna get the best answer when asked on the spot as to, why did you choose me? Or, what made you fall for me? My wife had said that before and I would give different answers every time because there are multiple reasons. She is beautiful, she stuck around, she didn't play games, I don't want to be single, she was obsessed with me, etc. 
I would just avoid fixating on what he said then and there because I imagine it's a variety of reasons. <laughs>